Hello, our fans. Welcome to Why Would Do the Trains. Today, we're going to Norfolk Southern. Sixty-nine twenty. So let's get right into the build now. For the first step, is take out gray concrete to start off. Okay, you want to have gray concrete here. You want to have one at the bottom. Now we're going to take gray concrete and we want to make that five block wide here. And then let's take a row of these slip brick stairs to be the bottom. So, for the first step, and then let's take a row of stone brick slab with a coupler. So, let's go on stone brick slab with a coupler, and we want to attach that up. And we're also going to use gray concrete and we want to make that so that's 32 blocks long. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, three, twenty, 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 now let's take a look of secondary wall of gray concrete. Now we're going to take stone slabs. Now we want to create a wrap row of stone, brick, stone slabs be the stairs now. Just like this. And then do the exact same thing, add row of stone slabs here. And then we're going to use a row of, so let's grab more row of gray concrete, like that. And then we're going to take three blocks wide. We're going to make that three blocks wide. If we don't have no pewter. Then take another row of three block wide, goes a gray concrete. Young lady here, she be a, what is she? She's like the planner. Um, oh. Then let's grab oh, some wheels, so let's grab roll hoppers. Where, um, when did the tutor come? Um, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Once a week? Mm -hmm. And then let's take a roll. Uh, so See you tomorrow. Go anyway, guys, so let's grab roll up. Man, y'all can dress roll on Friday. I know. <laughs> no. I do. You better dress warm Friday. I'm definitely going to dress warm. Seriously. I'm, I am too. Yeah, let's grab a roll of... Yeah, know where we're going, right? No. Right back up there to the south. She's oh, going. okay. Then let's I got to ask Miss Lee. Then let's grab she more roll Lee. of stone brick slabs. Just like that. And then all the way across here. I do. We're going to fall on it. Yeah. Have a chat once we got that, and then take another row of hoppers for the second rows here. And then take another row of hoppers. Then let's take a row of stone brick slabs between those axles right here. All right. Then okay, once you have that, now we want to make that use a roll of gray concrete to make the fuel tank. I want to grab all the way across here and then the other side. Now I want to grab these separate stairs to be the bottom. Do the exact same thing as the other side, just like that. Now let's take gray concrete. I want to make that five, six, so let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the other side, just like that. 
Now we're going to grab a roll of. So now we're going to grab a roll of smooth quartz slab to be the bottom. Now we want to grab make the forms using roll of smooth quartz slabs here. And then take another the side all the way across here. And then take another roll of smooth quartz. And then take another roll like that. <clears throat> and next we're going to add some fences so let's grab so let's grab so let's grab a perch fence and then the brick fence so let's grab birch and then another brick fence Ooh. and then go to the other side arrow of another brick fence and then birch Just like that. Now let's get started making the cab. So first we can do is grab blue concrete. Okay, once you have that, so now let's get started. Grab some blue concrete. So let's grab a roll here. So let's grab blue concrete, and then take red concrete, and then take black concrete. Also need windows. So let's grab. So let's grab row of. We want to grab ditch lights. So let's grab glow either frame. And we also need some iron bars. And we also need some windows. So let's grab iron bars. So let's grab iron bars here. And we also need gray stained glass pane. But we're not using glass block, we're using glass panes. Okay, once you have that, so let's grab a roll blue concrete of each side, make that the top right here, make that three block wide here, like this. Add roll ditch lights using glow item frame. And then let's grab a roll of, so let's grab six blue concrete, so let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And do the exact same thing on this side. And we want to make that five block wide here, like this in this area. Then take a roll of blue concrete from this side. And then take another one like that. Now let's take a roll of some warps um, slab. So let's grab warp slab here. So let's grab rows warp slab here. And and then take a row two blocks all wide using blue concrete from each side now let's take two rows of black stained glass panes blue concrete then take and then let's take a row of white concrete for the number plates so let's grab a row of white concrete so let's grab two rows here on each side and then another glass paint or gray stained glass paint like this now let's take a roll of red concrete up top uh, this is the logo part of our veterans unit of North Fork Southern number 6920 SC60E and we'll also add more roll of so let's grab more roll of so let's grab warp uh, let's grab mangrove stairs like that okay once you have that now let's take a row of blue concrete right here at the top like that and now let's grab a row of red concrete so let's grab red concrete from this side and let's take black concrete we want to grab so that it's by seven so let's grab one two three four five six seven then take yellow concrete now let's take yellow concrete now let's take a row of, of yellow concrete this is for the center and there then we want to do the exact same thing add a row by one two three four five six seven black concrete and then red concrete like this 
Then take row of three red concrete, one, two, three. Now let's take a row of four black concretes. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Then take a row of red concrete, one here and here. And take blue concrete right there behind the red. And then take a row of three red concretes. One, two, three. Then take, take a row of white concrete. So let's grab a row of white concrete. So let's grab white concrete right here, and then yellow right off top right here. Then take a row of white concrete from this side here, like this. Then take another row of white, like that. <clears throat> now let's take a row of black concrete. So let's grab one, two, and then another white concrete here. Then red concrete, just like this. Do the exact same thing the other side. And I roll two rows of white concrete with yellow concrete straight up. And then two rows of white concrete and then white concrete up top, then red concrete. Then take a row of three red concretes. And then let's take a row of white concrete. Then take a row of black concrete like that. Now let's get ready to start off. So let's grab a row of quartz. So let's grab pillars, quartz block. So let's grab a pillar quartz block. So that's the part of Norfolk Southern logo here, like this. And we we'll also need, so let's grab a row of smooth quartz um, stairs. So let's have, so let's grab smooth quartz stairs. And then we we'll also need um, iron trap door. That will need that. We we'll also need iron trap door. Like that. We also need iron trap door like that. Wait, wait not, not that. But let's grab a row of smooth quartz um, stairs here. So let's grab another iron trap door. And then let's grab a row of black concrete. So, so this is the Norfolk Southern logo. Looks like this. And then let's take a row of smooth quartz stairs here and here. Just like that. And then let's take a row of black concrete underneath here, like that. Then, then let's take a row of smooth quartz um, slab, just like that. We also need smooth quartz slab. So let's grab two rows of smooth quartz slab here. This is the Norfolk Southern logo here. Then take a row of black concrete all together like that except for one so this is the other side and then the other side also i'm going to use more row of black concrete from each side between left to right just like this now let's take more row of black concrete like that now let's take a row another pillar um block here now let's take another pillar block here. And then let's take another row of smooth quartz um, stairs and then iron trap door. And then let's take another a row of smooth quartz stairs and then upside down like that. Then I take a row of... Just, just one. Okay, once you have that, now let's grab a row of black concrete from this side just like that and then let's take a row of just like this and then take a row of black concrete from each side and let's place more row here just like this and then let's take another row of just like that and then let's grab rows here Okay, once you have that, now we're gonna fill up using roll of black concrete. And this is the, the logo of York Fork Southern of our SD60E Veterans Unit number 6920 of each side. Okay, once you have that, now let's take roll two rolls of black concrete. Then let's go to the front and let's grab a roll of 
three rows of blue concrete of each side. Then take another row three. Then take four, I mean five rows of blue concrete like this, except for one. And let's take more row of three rows of three row of blue concrete. And then let's grab and then let's take a row of blue concrete from each side. And this set for one right here. And then take another one right here. Just like that. Because this is our gap secure bar. And then we'll also need some bedrock. So so let's grab a row of bedrock. So let's grab a row of bedrock here. So let's grab two rows of bedrocks. And then three row bedrock here and then two rows of bedrocks like that and then row of blue concrete to fill it up is set for one like that and the rest is going to be black concrete just like that and then and then take a row of bedrocks so let's grab three here and one black concrete and then three bedrocks just like this and take another row of black concrete and then bedrock of each side and then black concrete like that and then take another row of black concrete like this and then take a row of bedrock just like this and let's take a row of black concrete and then let's take the more rows of Bedrock, so let's grab a row of black concrete and then three bedrocks. Just like this. Now let's take a row of black concrete. <laughs> and then let's grab a row of let's grab rows of slabs. So here's the vents is gonna be so let's grab a row of polished black stone brick slab. And this is for the top, and then one at each side. Now let's grab some row of so let's grab some carpet. So let's grab a row of black carpet. So let's cover up with the bedrocks for here of each side. And this is our layers of our Norfolk Southern number 6920 variant. Now let's grab a row of also we also need some blue carpet. So let's grab a row of three rows of carpets using blue carpet, except for one in the center. So we're also going to use iron trap doors. We're also going to use iron trap doors here, and then a row of row of blue concrete of each side like that, and then fill up using row of black black carpet of each side like this. Okay, once you have that. Now let's grab another iron trap door, two by three like this. Now let's get ready to start on the front. So the front is going to be let's grab some banners in here. So, so this one is, let's grab our looms before we start making our banners in here. So let's so let's grab our roll, grab our loom. Okay, we need um. Also need um, black banner. I mean, we also need white banner, and then just like that, we also need some row of some colors. So from for the colors right here to make our Norfolk Southern. So we also need um. So let's grab some dye. So let's grab so let's grab white dye, and then we also need blue dye. Just like that, and that's what we need. And also black dye also too. So let's place our loom over here. So this is for starting the banners right here. Also, we're going to switch it to. I'm going to switch it to. Let's bring our. Um, also need. Okay, we need um, black banner, and we also need blue banner. So let's get started. So. Okay, we need um, blue banner. And let's bring white dye over here. So let's grab horizontal the top. So let's grab. So 
so it's, that's pretty then grab a new banner and let's place a row of then let's take our a white die here and then take one at the bottom grab a new banner and let's place vertical in the center here like that once you have that Now let's just grab another white banner here. So we'll also go make the horse. So, okay, we need um, white banner. We we'll also need um, blue dye for the horse. So let's grab our diamond here. Grab a new banner. Grab a new banner. And then let's make blue dye. Bring the blue dye. And let's make, and let's make diagonal across to the top right. Grab a new banner and let's make our border of our course of our Norfolk Southern. Looks like this. Okay, once you have this done here from this side, so let's grab two on this side, one in the center, and two on this side. Once you have all this done, we want to remove, remove the banner. We want to grab another white banner here. And we also want you to come on this side. And we also need, want to bring the blue banner here. And then take a raw white dye, another one, and place it up top here. Once you have that, go back to our loom and grab a new banner. Grab a new banner. And let's make that in the middle using blue dye. We also need white dye of each side. We want to make that to the center. We want to make that to the center. Grab a new banner. We want to grab a new banner. Grab that banner to the center. And want to have one in the bottom, just a row of white dye parts of the banner, and grab that. Grab a new banner, and let's make blue dye half of it towards the left, just like this. And we we'll also want that one to the left, also looks like this. Then grab one and grab another banner and take another side opposite way using blue dye. We also want that one to the right, like this. Okay, once you have that done, looks like this. And that's our Norfolk Southern. Looks like this. Okay, once you have that done, now let's grab go back and let's grab row up. Okay, once you have that, now let's grab bedrock. And I want you to grab a row of bedrock on each side here. And then the other side. Okay, once you have that. And then I want you, okay, we need um black banner. And then let's take a row of, let's take a row of blue dye. And take grab a new banner and let's make a row of then take a row of door like that. Okay, once you have that done. Okay, once you have that. And I want you and coming on this side and take a row of door banner here and one over there just like this and then let's go over here okay we need black banner and take a row of or take a row of white dye and then let's make top one here grab a new banner Okay, once you have that, now let's take white white banner here. And then take a roll of and take white dye. 
and grab a new button and let's make it one in the middle one in the bottom like that grab a new banner then take rope another black banner and we'll take one in the banner grab a new banner then grab a new banner and let's take one in the top using white dye just like that and all right, and once you got that, now let's grab in the middle, just like that. Grab on the banner, and let's make black dye, switch it to, to the left, using black dye like that. Grab one, and then take on this side for the back. Once you have that done, then let's take a row of two rows of like that. Okay, now let's take a row of now let's take a roll of white black dye. Black, grab a new banner here. And let's take another white banner here. Like that. Now let's take black dye to make the diamond. One here in the middle. Grab a new banner. Let's take another roll. Grab a new banner and let's make the diamond across using black dye. We want to grab one that looks like the horse, like that. Okay, once you have that, now let's take black dye here and let's grab white dye here. And that's the horse, all from your cork setter. Okay, once you have that done, and place it right in the center here like that okay once you have that now let's grab a row of let me just remove all this junk here let's okay, let's remove all this junk here And then, and then let's remove all this junk here. And then around, and then let me just remove this junk here. And then let's, and then let's grab. Okay, once you have that. So let's grab trick rod hooks right here for the air brakes. And let's take this side here. And then other side. And then let's take stone brick slab like that. Just like this. And then let's grab a row of fences. And then let's take a row of from so let's grab another brick fences right here. So let's grab two on this side. So let's grab six of each side. And let's take another row of another brick fence of each side. And then the other side. Just like that. Now let's take a row of now let's take another row of blue concrete of each side, just like that. And then let's take a row of, now let's take a row of stone brick stairs. And let's grab a row of, so let's grab work um, stairs here. And then let's grab a row of so let's grab some spider string and we'll also need blue carpets. And we'll also use 
spider string of each side here to make all the layers using spider string of out Norfolk Southern number 6920 veterans unit of each side. Then let's take a roll of stone brick um, slab. So let's grab stone brick slab here of each side. And then let's grab two rows of stone brick slabs here and then this side here. And then let's grab a row of stone brick a uh, row of warp stairs. And then let's grab a row of string to each side. And then warp stairs like that. Now let's grab a row of stone. So let's grab a row of blue blue concrete blue carpet here on each side so let's grab more rows here on each side and then let's go to the other side and do the exact same thing of each all the rest using of our blue blue concrete or blue carpet of our Norfolk Sun number 6920 vendors unit looks like this and now finally so let's grab our iron bars to do on the side windows right here like this and then let's grab here and then let's grab birch and skates for the headlights and we also need signs so let's grab minecraft signs like that so let's grab a row of so let's grab 6920 6920 so let's grab birch fence gate like that. Okay, um, we also need so let's grab row of birch fence gates for the headlight like that. Just like this. All right, so that is pretty much it on how to build Norfolk Southern number 6920 Veterans Unit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have it, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe on why we're doing trying to YouTube stuff and posting more videos in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. So.